So Travis planning to play daddy, and he can't even much dress the kids right. Paul thing. Well, as long as you stuck with Victoria, you better get used to it, buddy, because that's going to be you every morning. Be the morning trying to get two kids together. You have fun with that. Look, Kane, you ain't got no room to talk neither, my friend. Billy said he okay with them co-parenting and Travis being around his chair. Now, why are you trying to make this out of a big-ass deal? You go worry about with Lily going to sleep with that man again. That's what you go worry about. She keep on her legs closed for you on it. That's what you go do. Don't worry about that Billy okay with that or not. It's time for you to get you alive, Kane. Lily... Sit your ass down somewhere, girl. If Hillary grabs you right now, your ass will be shaking and falling on the ground. One of these days, Hillary going to swing on you. Now you popping off at this girl because now she on GC Buzz, but you won't let her talk, but you just popping off. Lily, I used to talk to you about that lie, but honey, if Hillary get a hold of you, she wouldn't let you go. Trust and believe she wouldn't. Yeah, she might let you throw water on her and all that. But trust me, y'all went to fight. I guarantee you Hillary come out the winner. Lily, you can't fight with the damn. Sit your ass down so we're getting mad. I'll go pick up somebody that actually know how that don't know how to fight like your ass can. So Kane, the mind reader, and I can tell somebody how they should fucking feel about their child and another man playing daddy to their child. First of all, bitch, Lily was married to you when she was cheating. And Joe was playing daddy to your child. Second of all, Billy and Victoria are divorced. Of course she gonna have another man in life. Of course he gonna be there for his child. Of course the new man gonna be there too. Playing daddy to his son. You right. But if he's strong enough to take that, why can't you get the fuck over it? Ain't nobody fought you low self-esteem. And you insecure, you need to go work on that. That's a disease. Go cure that shit. Why you trying to make your situation and Billy's situation seem the same when they all different, motherfucker. You trying to make a big deal out of nothing. That shouldn't be no big ass deal. This happened in real lives, ass wife. If you didn't know that, that's the real world. When you leave somebody, you have kids. Of course, they're going to be somebody else in their lab, a father figure in their lab. What's wrong with it? You trying to make it seem like it's illegal or something. Amen, Mariah. Send out for your best friend. Tell that bitch don't be playing with his heart like that. Cause you want to deal with me. That's what you should have told her ass, Mariah. If you hurt his heart, expect me to come out to your tired ass. Cause I'ma choke your ass out. That's what you should have had told her ass. But you did good with what you said to her. Chloe, you full of fucking shit. You sure told you why she was mad at you. She told you what was going on. You still have yet to apologize for busting that girl across her head. And that was her I feel some type of fucking way too. Cause you bust me across my motherfucking head. Did not apologize for it. And you're still not warm enough fucking up to apologize. And I'm supposed to respect you. I don't blame Mariah at all, even though she do act dumb at times. I don't. I, I'm with Mariah all the way, bitch. And you still can bring yourself to this day, still right now in that moment, and still couldn't apologize to that woman. So, what's up? Um, your lips were shut. You couldn't bring yourself to say, "Look, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get away." Bitch, you can't even much apologize. That's from me right there. You full of shit, Chloe. Kevin, and I was you, I take that advice Mariah told you, and, and it applied to your head. All oh, right, that's can't. Chloe hypnotized you, so she, you don't never think right when Chloe, when you on the Chloe spell, you don't think right, you don't act right, so when she break your heart again, which is gonna happen, Kevin, I'm laughing in your fucking face all the way to the fucking bank. I'm sorry, you deserve it. After taking this dumb heifer back after all that shit she did to you, good and bad and nasty. And you still horny for her, got a hard on for her, and you want her back now. Kevin, when she dumped you or something happened and she break your heart, I'm laughing. I'm sorry. It might seem cold, but you deserve to get laughed at because your ass that dumb to take her back. Oh, Lily, shut the fuck up. Anything that comatized hit Mariah Hillary, your ass always got something nasty to say about it. 
um, Lily, you got two kids. It's trying to grow the fuck up now and move the fuck on like everybody else have about Hillary. You need to grow up now. It's trying to mature your brain now. Your body there, but your brain need to catch on up now. Let that shit go. Stop being a hater. She angry. What is she angry about? Yo tired ass busting across her head with a damn bottom. How many times have we tell you that, you dumb bitch? She is still mad at you for busting her up to her head trying to escape. You have yet to apologize about that. That showed me right there you missing the screw in your head, Chloe. You clearly can't see why she's still upset with you. And she told you and now you asking Kevin what's wrong with her. Yo tired ass, that's what's wrong with her. She wants you gone away from that book cause you ain't doing nothing but using Kevin all over again and he allowing it. So Travis accepts the job, but I thought we agreed not to go to Numa Enterprises, but here you go, already in. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode, the Born episode at the end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, you're new to my channel. I'm social media down in the bottom bar, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.